Hi, we have here a swinging pendulum. How long does it take the pendulum to go from the extreme position to the equilibrium position? The answer is clearly one quarter of a period. But how long does it take for the pendulum to complete half the journey? I hope you realize the answer is not one eighth of a period. A displacement time graph will help us see the situation more clearly. So we are talking about the time it takes for the pendulum to go from the extreme position to half the amplitude. So we are interested in this amount of time. If we set t is equal to 0 here, then what we see is a cosine graph. So clearly, this corresponds to 60 degrees because cosine 60 degrees gives me half, which means this must correspond to one-sixth of a cycle because 60 degrees out of a total of 360 degrees is one-sixth. So this must correspond to one-sixth of a cycle, which means in terms of time, this must correspond to one-sixth of a period. Similarly, if you are interested in figuring out how long it takes for it to go from, say, the equilibrium position to half its amplitude, so it's going from here to somewhere here. So this is the time we are interested in. Again, let's set t is equal to 0 here. What we see now is a sine graph. So sine 30 degrees is a half. That tells me that this corresponds to 30 degrees which means this should correspond to 3 out of 360 degrees. Remember, one period co uh, co corresponds to 360 degrees. So this corresponds to 1 12th of a cycle, which means this amount of time is 1 12th of a period. Easy, right? Ta-ta!